five. To fully understand the magic of Hillcrest. Three. What are they skaters? Look like deer. You have to experience it through the eyes of a child. That's why Linda McGrath was willing to take a rain-soaked stroll with her grandsons Wednesday. It's amazing how much trouble all these people go to and, uh, you know, to decorate and draw people to come and see it. And this year, it's a different type of trouble for homeowners who are reporting stolen and damaged decorations. Neighbors will tell you that lawn decorations are always vulnerable to vandalism, but one man says he thinks this year has been particularly bad because of the generally good weather. This year seems a little escalated, and I'm attributing it to the nicer weather. Uh, we are a little more popular than we were, of course, 15 years ago, but uh, people are out every single night this year. Every October, Andrew Held lives in Area 51, and this year, someone stole two alien inflatables from his front yard. It's frustrating, it, it makes you upset, but again, I, I, I uh, most of the people that walked on the street have goodwill and are really appreciative of the work that we put in. And fans of the Halloween fun say that's true. I wouldn't want to see this holiday spoiled by people abusing it. To combat the abuse, there are strict guidelines for trick-or-treaters. The idea is to ensure safety and a spooky good time. With the city, we agreed to stop trick-or-treating at 9 o'clock, and that solved a bunch of problems then. So whatever's going on, we'll figure out an answer and come up with a way to manage it, I hope. Morgan Lentis. I hate your it's WLKY News.